Hey everybody, welcome back to What If. Um, you guys really liked the last one, so why don't we continue this? You know, we're getting close to 60 What Ifs. That's really exciting and cool. Um, <clears throat> this What If was top comment. So I just want to say there was a comment that had 7 likes and the top comment had 6 likes. likes. So you are you may have, I'm just going to say this now and don't, Try not, like, just, I'm sorry. But if your comment may have most likes, but it has to be top comment. That means, like, completely the first comment I see. And that was the one I saw first. So, I know there's not too much you could do about it. But make sure, there's three things you can do to make that help get to top comment. The first thing, try to get a lot of likes, you know, that that's something. Second, uh, um... When top comment, like, like you will be viewed as top comment. So, a lot of people said that I don't look at people's ideas. I actually, like, every day I scroll through the ideas just to see which one's top comment, which has gained likes, and see what new comments are. So, yeah. the I would say the best way to, to get top comment is to get here first to to you know comment down <clears throat> and also as well as the chance of getting likes but either way let's just continue with this what if so mr crocker i'm sorry if i say it wrong i had a, <laughs> i never watched family Parents, and then miss puff um honestly this battle is pretty interesting but um, yeah um why don't we get started with it So I think Miss Puff would win. For a few reasons, it's a SpongeBob character, and SpongeBob characters are usually more liked. For example, SpongeBob and Patrick has both won in round one, and that's saying a lot because, you know, characters that are really good, they lose. So this is just fans saying that, you know, anything could really happen. SpongeBob is definitely more popular than the Family Odd Parents or something like that. Sorry, I never watched it as a child. <clears throat> oh, I'm still a child, but young child. But, um... And another thing, I feel like she would have really good roast, considering she already does have good roast in the show. So, yeah. First battle would be SpongeBob vs. Deadpool. Yes, I know you guys don't like to see this battle, but it, it, a lot of times it does happen, so... Deadpool does win. Patrick vs. Pennywise is episode 10. Pretty interesting, but we have seen this battle, and yeah, I know it's different. It's round 2 this time, instead of round 3. But I can't change anything that's already happened. There's, like, only a few chances of changing it, and, that, and those chances are super low. And we have never had it on the What If show, so, yeah. Groot versus Mrs. Puff would actually be pretty interesting. You know, <clears throat> Groot would only say I am Groot, and Miss Puff would say Miss Puff a lot. <laughs> but, yeah, either way, honestly, yeah, I don't really need to talk about it. Miss Puff is going to win because the lack of language Groot speaks, so, yeah. Sonic vs. Thanos would be pretty interesting battle to see, but Sonic would probably win. Deadpool versus Miss Puff would be the first battle in round three. It's this would be a pretty interesting battle because now you got yourself thinking if SpongeBob won, that mean it would be episode thirteen of SpongeBob versus Miss Puff. That would be pretty interesting, but <clears throat> he did not win. Miss <laughs> Puff, on the other hand, okay, so Deadpool, I feel like really, I don't know what Miss Puff can really do because she doesn't generically go by like roasting off. Like, Spongebob is an idiot. No offense, though, but he is. Like, he can do some really stupid things. Miss Puff takes that for an advantage. Deadpool really doesn't do stupid stuff, and when he does, it usually means his, he's an advantage. He's mostly just aggressive and could say stuff that's funny or, you know, just be a clown. Literally. <laughs> But um, but that doesn't mean he's stupid. Relatively, he's one of easily one of the most smartest characters, considering you know he knows how to throw swords without it falling in trouble. You know that that's hard to learn. <laughs> and Deadpool knows some really good strategies and 
you know, just because you you never die doesn't mean you don't want to get pain. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think most times Deadpool does win, but I feel like Miss Puff would have a better chance than SpongeBob. Yes, I know that doesn't really make that much sense, but for a few reasons, it's round three, so more people would watch it, you know. Because round two, he had less subscribers, so essentially means that he's going to get less views. It's just sometimes how it works. And then Miss Pop, since it's almost to 4 million at this point. Yeah, exactly. So he's going to have more views containing on this video. So, yeah, it would be close, though. It would be close. Sonic vs. Patrick arguably would be a really hard fight to actually determine. <clears throat> Let's just say if normal cartoon beatbox battle, then easily I would have chose Patrick, without a doubt. Reason why? Because of revenge reasons. But I'm not doing revenge reasons anymore. So, arguably, Sonic could win. Let's just go off the facts here. So, Sonic in round two, let's just do, say he does the same thing against Thanos, what he did to Black Panther. So, he brings out Werehog. Let's, so, um, something Verblaze has mentioned before in a live stream, or I think it was a live stream. I, I don't remember. But it was a while ago. He said he's not going to do stuff like like things that are made up for a character. He's only going by what's original in the character. So, stuff like Dark Sonic and, you know, like, hi, like, com, like insanely powerful Sonic that's not hyper- He's not going to use those because it's not Sega official, or at least Sega didn't use it yet, or Nintendo, like anything like that. Sonic, if he in round three, <clears throat> at most he would go hyper, but I feel like since in round two, let's just say he brings Shadow, Amy, you know, all of the following, Sonic would mostly just diss Patrick for his stupidness. <clears throat> I don't really think he's going to transform that much because. I mean, Verbal Ace could have put the solo. See, in solo one, he um, his cover was Super Sonic. And then for solo two, it was Normal Sonic. But in this case, now, let's just say it's Werehog now. Let's just say in round three, you know, he wants a basic solo, just like a normal Sonic one, because he knows Sonic is going to get win against Thanos. So I don't really think he's going to transform at all. Patrick, on the other hand, see, he does the weirdest things, but what I think he's going to do, the following, I think he's going to be smart. Why? Well, it'd be a good case considering, I'm not going to lie, Sonic isn't the smartest crayon in the shed. I said it wrong, but, you know, Patrick is pretty much the dumbest character in cartoon beatbox battles. Yes, he's definitely do stupider than Goofy. I don't even know how that's possible, but it is. And um, Patrick would probably, you know, I don't know if you guys know the episode, but he bunks his head and gets smart. So I feel like that's basically what he, you know, in the beatbox. Like Sonic hits him in the head right before, and then he gets smart. It would be a good idea, but relatively, I think Patrick would win more times than not. It'd be the closest battle easily in round three, and definitely one of the most closest battles in Cartoon Beatbox battles, but Patrick would probably win. Deadpool versus Patrick would be a very interesting battle to see for the ending battle, considering it is the ending battle. <clears throat> Although, though, Patrick does have a really big advantage. Let's just say, for example, if Miss Puff was in Cartoon Beatbox battles and Deadpool has beaten both SpongeBob and Miss Puff, that's going to kind of anger Patrick, considering that's two of that's two people from his universe. His timeline, you know, his stuff. So, that's, I mean, it's not for revenge reasons. I'm just saying, it's going to anger him. Deadpool is easily just going to roast, you know, his stupidness. And I know a lot of people are rooting for Patrick. Let me just say something real quick, though. Patrick really doesn't have that much now since what he has done. Let's just say round one, he didn't really do anything. Except bring the monkey, though. And most of that. Backpack was round two. And then a monkey again in round three. There's not really transform and also smart. Patrick for a bit, but it wasn't really smart. Patrick, you just put glasses on. But still, 
I mean, he could get superpower Patrick, the one that's in the movie, the live action ish movie, where you know he gets buff <laughs> and has the ice cream power. <laughs> but yeah, Deadpool on our hand has so much to do. You guys don't even imagine the 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 things Deadpool can do. Like, even if there was six rounds, no, seven. That's not even to cover what everything Deadpool can do, like, as in, if, like, transformational stuff. I'm going to go, Patrick's going to run out of ideas, so it's not really going to be a big effect for when Deadpool wins. All right, so now we got loser on. Mickey vs. Deadshot would be very interesting to see, but let's just explain here. Mickey does win more times than not. A lot of people are rooting for Deadshot, and I, I'm actually rooting for Mickey. I, I don't know. Some people think I'm weird. But let us I honestly think Mickey will probably be Deadshot, and let's just, let me just explain. If you're a geek like me and like comic books, do the research for comic books, you would obviously know that Deadshot doesn't really have too much to do. Let's just say... He only has a few abilities on his hand, and one of them is guns and stuff like weapons. What did he do in round one? Guns and weapons. So, arguably, Deadshot doesn't really have too much to do now. I mean, he's a villain, and technically he could bring the Suicide Squad, but it wouldn't be relevant enough considering of the new Suicide Squad that just came out. Deadshot's just, at this point on... Deadshot just, like, has nothing to do. I mean, I guess he can act like an exterminator, like, um, against mouse, mouses and stuff. Ma- Mickey Mouse <clears throat> did nothing in round one to affect how much stuff he can do. Let's just say if you wanted to pull off a Pennywise 2, turn into a skeleton, he can. If you wanted to be Magic Mickey, he can. If you wanted to be... God like Mickey, he can. If you wanted to be King Mickey, he can. That is so much things I just mentioned there. And the fact that Deadshot has nothing left over and Mickey has so much crap to do, it's it's the point on that, like, Mickey could basically, like, let's just say he goes on, like, a mouse, like, a uh, uh, magic mouse, <laughs> magic Mickey, and, like, kind of, like, Kind of Pennywise too, where he goes up and then tons of brooms. Sorry, I I, I really don't watch Mickey Mouse. So I I think I remember, and like tons of brooms come on and they just move Deadshot. <laughs> he tries shooting, but Mickey like grabs the bullet with his stuff. <laughs> I don't know. And also that so Deadshot really can't bring anyone. Maybe Harley Quinn at most. Or Killer Croc or something like that. But Mickey literally has anyone to bring. He could bring Minnie. He could bring Goofy. He could bring Donald. He could bring Daisy. He could bring Pluto. He could bring whatever that fat mouse thing was in one episode. He could bring Professor Donald, whatever the heck his name is. (laughs) So my point is Mickey's probably going to win. Uh, Goofy versus Joker would be pretty interesting to see. But I'm not going to lie. And I don't need to really explain this. Because Joker is going to win. So, the thing is, Joker is just insanely popular. The only reason why he lost is because of the release date of Pennywise or It. And that was when, if you guys don't know, fun fact about me. My first ever episode that I watched in Cartoon Beatbox Battles was at... Uh, was episode 3, and that's when episode 3 was new. So, yeah, I'm an old-time fan. But really, though. <clears throat> so, if you don't know, when Pennywise vs. Joker came out in Cartoon Beatbox Battles, that's when Pennywise vs. Joker was all over the internet. You'd find, like, animated, animated series kind of thing. Like, just animations. Um, uh, uh, rap battles. And I guess Verbalize wanted to do his own version of it and decided to do Pennywise versus Joker, which was pretty good. And that's probably why the Pennywise won, because people were liking Pennywise when the, when Pennywise was the newest thing out. Let's just say Pennywise versus Joker was more new than 
most likely Joker would have a big advantage against Pennywise, considering of the release date. But yeah, let's continue. <sighs> Doctor Crocker, Croker. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but <laughs> I already know I'm gonna get hate for it. And Pikachu. I don't need to explain because Pikachu is lack of language. Dark Side vs. Mario, arguably a lot of people already know the answer to this. And actually, I feel like Dark Side would be one of the only people that could beat Mario because of what Mario has to fight with. He fights Bowser, and arguably that's in, like hard. You know, Mar Bowser can do some really insane stuff that really a lot of villains can't do in video games in general, just villains. Darkseid is probably the strongest villain ever, and I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate, but if Darkseid, the strongest version of Darkseid, and the strongest version of Thanos, fought everyone from Dragon Ball Z, easily Darkseid and Thanos would win. Yeah, I'm just saying that now. <laughs> I already probably just, some people are going to get triggered from that, but I'm just saying, like, I, I just want to say that out. But, yeah. Darkseid is insanely strong. You don't even know. Like, he's he's on top of levels of people like Superman, a.k.a. like p people that could beat Thor, which is insane, the person that literally killed Thanos. <laughs> so, there's a few people that really could beat Darkseid, like on a 1v1. Ghost Rider, for example. <clears throat> you know, he, you don't, yeah, yeah, Ghost Rider's insane. But, yeah, arguably they're both like they're both they're both gonna put up a good fight, but Mario's probably gonna win. Mickey versus Croc. I'm sorry, I just oh my name is so confusing. Okay, so yet again, I don't really watch a show and I don't really know what he does. I yes, I know I do research, but I really couldn't find any transformations he does. So, I'm sorry about that. And he has a really bad neck thing. What the frick is wrong with his neck? It's like a curvy head. How is that even possible? His ear is on his neck. What what medicine are you taking, boy? To make your ear on your neck and not on your head. All right, sorry about that, but um, yeah, Mickey versus I I don't even want to try his name right now, Necky boy. But um, either way, um, Mickey would put up against. I uh, now I'm getting confused. This is just great, Mickey Necky. I need to stop. Okay, Mickey would put up a good fight, and Doctor Quacker Quacker. Ugh. Okay, Mickey is probably going to have an advantage because of what he can do. And also his fame, because Family Odd Parents is definitely not as popular of what Mickey can do. And I'm just going to say this now so I don't get my confusion now. Nikki is going to lose. Yes, Nikki boy. <laughs> Mario versus Joker. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. But Mario, if you have seen my past what ifs, Mario does beat Batman and you already know what that means. Yeah, it's going to go the same thing for Joker. <sighs> Mickey versus Mario would be actually a pretty interesting battle to see. They're both popular. They both wear red. They're both main characters. They both make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, all that. But uh, Mickey, on the other hand, can still do a lot. Let's just say he turns Magic Mickey against Deadshot and against Dr. Necky Boy. He decides to go King Mickey. Uh, there's not too much he can do that's really popular left. I mean, I guess he can bring in some people. Mario, on the other hand, has so much crap to go with. Like, even if there was 10 rounds. No, 20 rounds. Mario would still have stuff to do. And that's why I'm kind of sad. Because, honestly, he would be great in round 4 against people like Deadpool and Patrick. But, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mario, yeah, he's going to win against Mickey. If that if Joker someone fought against Mickey, then there's no way there's no way Mario is going to lose. So yeah, thank you all for watching this episode. Honestly, oh, it's tiring if explaining all of it, but you know, it's new viewers. 
But yeah, thank you all for watching. And if you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. You know, just help out the channel a bit. Make sure to comment down another idea. And yes, I know it doesn't have to have most likes. But please, I know there's some argues happening in the comments. But please just comment down an idea. It may happen. You just got to be here, here early, you know. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.